As you now know, there are many systems in the human body, and they all have a unique function. Yet each system is integrated to work together with the entire body. Let's review some of the major systems. The circulatory system includes the heart and two networks of blood vessels. Pulmonary circulation, which moves deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs and returns oxygenated blood back to the heart. And systematic circulation, which carries oxygenated blood from the heart to the body's tissues and returns oxygen-depleted blood back to the heart. Blood is that sticky red fluid which circulates throughout the body in a complex network of veins and arteries, transporting nutrients and oxygen to the body's tissues and removing waste products for disposal. The primary organs of the digestive system include the mouth, esophagus, stomach, and your small and large intestines. Your digestive system processes the food that you eat to extract energy and critical nutrients and to move cellular waste products out of your body. To use the food a person eats, the body needs to break that food down into small molecules that the body's cells can take up and process. The body also needs to excrete the waste that is a byproduct of cellular metabolism. The immune system includes the body's white blood cells, antibodies, T cells, and other vital cells. Your immune system is a complex network within the human body which protects you from disease by locating, identifying, and destroying infectious agents, also known as pathogens and tumor cells. The immune system can identify a number of different disease agents, everything from viruses and bacteria to parasitic worms. It can also efficiently differentiate between these bad invaders and the body's own healthy tissues and cells. The nervous system is made up of nerves, the brain, and the spinal cord. The nerves themselves do not form one single system, but several which are interrelated. Its primary function is to collect information about the external conditions in relation to your body's external state, to analyze this information, and to initiate appropriate responses to satisfy certain needs. The respiratory system's primary organs and features include the lungs, the mouth, the nose, the trachea, and the diaphragm. The respiratory system supplies your blood with oxygen, which is then distributed throughout your body by the circulatory system throughout the action of breathing. The oxygen is brought into your body when you inhale, and the poisonous gas carbon dioxide is removed when you exhale. Fun fact! Nerve impulses to and from the brain travel as fast as 170 miles per hour. This brings your reactions to a speed of a high-powered sports car.